Hi, witches. Hi, witches. Karen and Shannon here. We're going to do a bit of a, like a companion video to the podcast that we did dated November 13th, 2021, where we talked about Shannon's um, ability to see spirit um, and mainly spirit guides um, because she can offer spirit guide consultations um, and her journey with that and um, the ups and downs of that. We did a podcast. So what we thought we would do is get on here and it's actually been, I'm going to say many years since I had you do at least since I first started. Yeah, any kind of um, spirit guide um, consultation. So what we thought we would do is get on here and kind of show you how Shannon does them. Um, she can do them remotely. You don't, you know, you don't have to be in person. Um, she can, she prefers to do, you said you prefer like a FaceTime type mm-hmm. thing so you can see somebody, but it doesn't have to be like that. You can do a phone um, consultation if you want. If, after you see this, if you are interested in doing something like this with Shannon, you can reach out to her through the Facebook group, which do you. You can just send her a private message. Um, you can email her at rafikiwoman at gmail.com, or you can always email the group email, which is witchdoyou at gmail.com, and she will get back to you, okay? So let me preface this by saying... Um, I started a couple of hours ago by calling in sacred space um, and asking my main guide, Tom, to bring forward any new guides or guides that maybe I'm not aware of um, that have been helping me lately um, with, you know, just different things, okay? I lit a candle and I basically, when I called in the corners afterwards, I said, you know, come to this light. And what I did say also was bring anybody forward, anybody helpful forward that for Shannon to see in regards to me or her or any of the coven, which would be Carrie and Shell, um, that would, you know, that would benefit us. Not, you know, we didn't want a bunch of people lining up and stuff. So... That being said, I am just going to go ahead and turn it over to Shannon, and maybe you can, like, explain a little bit of the process as you're doing it. Yeah. Maybe if you want to do that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I um, And everything that Kara did was great to get it started, to get it to prepare. I just want to say it's not necessary. It, it's not a necessary thing to do. I do encourage people to kind of sit quietly for a few minutes beforehand uh, center your energy and and candles. Yeah, always I'm a candle witch. So always, always candle. I have my um, like my sticker. I have a little scratch pad that I use just to jot things down. It's not automatic writing, but it just helps me focus a little bit. So if you hear scratching, that's what I'm doing. Okay. So. Let's see if we get anything. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of weird because it I already... Is because, well, we've not done this in so long. I know, you know, and it's... I'm not used to doing this for people that I know so well. Right. So... It's... Which might be... I don't know. That might be a hindrance or... Might be. I don't know. I, I guess, guess we'll, we'll see. I guess we'll see. Because um, I know Tom, and I know that you had some other... Sissy was one that you had prior that I don't know if she's... Yeah. prevalent in your life yeah um, but I remember her from a hundred years ago right seems like a different lifetime a different lifetime indeed <clears throat> that was a cat <laughs> I had a feeling that was gonna happen I know I'm so sorry What about I see a very more cat activity, sorry. It happens when the spirits are active. <laughs> yes, they do get a little rambunctious. Um
There's like a lady. Very, very, very thin. Are you sure she's for <laughs> <laughs> Like waif-like thin. Okay. But not sickly, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, blonde, very long blonde hair. Not like Crystal Gale long, but... Okay. Beyond the shoulders, beyond the, <clears throat> you know, down. Okay. And like blonde, like baby blonde. Okay. Like what grandma would call a toe head. Okay. White blonde. I yeah. Guess. Okay. Bangs. Cro- straight across and dark eyes, like huge dark eyes. Okay. And I just heard, it's funny because I heard like Morrigan, but I'm thinking it's more maybe Morgan. Okay. I think I just got Morrigan because. Yeah. Okay. Now. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I just got the plant connection. Oh, okay. So she's like elf-like. Well, that would explain why I turned from somebody with a black thumb to somebody with a green thumb. Also. Yeah, because it was time. Okay. It was time because you have the land. Okay. That makes sense. You have the land now. Okay. So I can petition her directly for help with my plans. Yes. Oh, yes. perfect. Hard yes. Okay. Hard yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I can just see her like. Sitting in a garden. Okay. Not necessarily what you have out back, but just with all these lush plants. Okay. So that's like her jam. All right. Are the plants. I like that. I like it. And when I say Morgan, she kind of... Okay, like, you so, can call her something else. Okay. Or maybe Morgan, but that's not really not how it's quite, pronounced. Not quite. It's... Okay. Okay. Now is Tom there? Is he around here? Tom's kind always of, around. I know, but I'm just because I did specifically ask him, like, mm-hmm. please bring you know somebody forward that I might mm-hmm. have been working with that I'm just not aware of. Yeah. So he did exactly. He, oh, he does your bidding. He does my bidding. He does your bidding. <laughs> yeah. He understood the assignment. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So right, yeah, cool. that's that came through pretty quickly. I was, I'm yeah. actually surprised because I didn't know how that this was gonna roll. Yeah, I I didn't either. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What about? I don't want to plant any ideas. I just saw your little side eye, so I didn't know if you were already picking up on something else. No, just her. Okay. My side eye. Well, you were like. Doing that concentration thing. Mm. What about, is there somebody new or not really new, but maybe just new to us because we are, haven't been aware of it, who's helping us coordinate and do all of this new which do you type? And I feel like it would almost have to be somebody that's like specifically connected to all four of us. Yeah, I've actually thought about that okay. a lot. Um, I don't know that it's a person necessarily that I could see. Okay. I think it's more of, I hate to use the term element. Oh. But it's like an elemental energy, like okay. spirit. Okay. That doesn't have, doesn't know how to... I'm going to take that back because I heard it's not that I don't know how. It doesn't feel the need to present a form. A form. Okay. Because like a viable it's, form. Right. It's just energy. Wow. That's, I think that's kind of huge. It's, yeah. Yeah. Because I know that you and I specifically did petition elemental energy Mm -hmm. for help with that so that 
to me is kind of like validation that we should probably get back out there and pick up some trash on the road because that was our that was our our, our promise our exchange our exchange in um, for offering for an offering for not an like offering. we sold their souls or anything oh like no that. no just our offering for um, working with elementals because I'm if you've seen any of Shell's um, videos or lives or different things about you know working with elementals they can be very particular mm-hmm. depending on which. Uh, group of elementals you're working with so we did petition them for some help um, getting those which do you up and running and they've obviously been very helpful it's gone very well so far Um, and Shannon and I kind of our exchange was we will keep this like area near my house clean like the property clean the road we go up and down the road with a garbage bag and pick up garbage and um, you know just to keep the earth more of a friendly um livable space for them um and i i would actually also think that me tending my own plants also goes you know as an Mm -hmm. offering or whatever um for that so that's pretty that's pretty interesting so anyway that worked a lot better than we actually anticipated (laughs) Um, so that's great. I will actually, um, after doing my shamanic training with Michelle, which was fantastic, um, you should really, anybody wants to learn about that, you should really um, get a hold of Michelle about doing the shamanic um, stuff that she'll, she's going to be offering coming up here pretty soon. Um, I will be able to journey on that and um, in my journey go and meet and talk more with this um, Morgan, um, who has been so wonderful with all my plants, because and you can ask my sister, I really, you know, I used to be the place where plants would come to die. I mean, my husband would say that. We just never had plants because I just, I could not. And then it just flipped a couple of years ago. It just absolutely flipped and everything. Shannon even brought me one of her plants because she's like, it's just not doing well. I'm like, bring it over. We'll see what we can do. It's like a little plant nursery. It is. I have <laughs> long term care. Now. Yeah. And I just brought all my plants. I don't want to get off on a tangent too much, but I did just bring all my plants back in for the winter. So we are going through a little bit of a transitional phase right now with some of my plants. But um, I have four more this year I think than I had last year Mm -hmm. and not to mention replanting those so that's an extra one because that used to be in one pot so Mm -hmm. I actually have five extra plants I don't know where I'm putting all these things but we're gonna get through it anyways thanks for joining us again if um, doing a spirit guide journey with Shannon is something that you think you'd be interested in go ahead and go on the Facebook group you can direct message her um, or email Uh, We will put the emails in the comments on this YouTube video, okay? Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.